We came out here tonight led by the Holy Spirit of God. No, no, you need to, you need to, you need to legalize Jesus Christ. You need to make, you need to make legal to live holy. Follow Jesus Christ. What are you doing, man? Are you think you're gonna get away with this on the day of judgment? Yeah, look at this guy, man. You know that what you're doing is evil. It's evil. But the, the Bible says that evil pursues sinners. It's evil, but it heals people. Does that make It's evil. He admitted it's evil. He admitted it's evil. Well, I'm going to just a couple minutes, five minutes. Party with him. I'd rather party with him. Uh, you know, you know the, the pleasure is fun for a brief moment, and then you die and stand before God. It's a, it's a test. It was a test. The Bible says God tests the righteous. You're not following the test. The cigarettes, the cigarettes and the packs sitting inside the uh, convenience stores, it's a test for you. That you would not pick up the poison and put it into your lungs. Those are bad. That's bad. Demons. Those are demons. The Bible says that you cannot have fellowship with demons and have fellowship with the Lord. I got to go over here. Folks, we came here to tell you about the truth. What are you doing with the Bible? What are you doing with this Word of God? Huh? No, I believe in the whole Bible. Every scripture is given by inspiration of God. I'm not cherry picking anything. Even the old, even the Old Testament has a purpose to bring us to Jesus Christ. No, look, 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 look. look. When you say, when you say, is it your job to judge? Yes. There's a whole book in the Bible named Judges. There's a whole book in the Bible named Judges. Hey, are you going to go in front of a judge and say you can't judge me, judge? You're just a judge. Quit judging me, judge. And the judge says, you're going to go to jail. The judge says, you're going to go to jail. Look, I can't send you to jail. I can't send you to jail. I can't send you to hell. But I tell you what, what's wrong with you got demons in you? Look, I can't send you to hell. I'm a messenger. And I know what it's like to be under God's judgment. It's terrifying. The Bible says this. The Bible says in John chapter 7, 24, do not judge according to appearance, but use a righteous judgment. Isn't it righteous that this big fat cigar could give this man cancer? It could fall on his arm and burn a hole in his arm. It could, it could fall on his, it could fall on his seat in his car and burn a hole in the seat. Of his car. That's a good judgment. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. I came to tell you about eternal life, man. Are you going to have eternal life? Are you living for God when you live in sin? Oh, it's, it's, it's terrifying. What are you doing with the Bible, man? I came to tell you about what the Bible says. Read, read more of it than you are. Look, the Bible says don't fret because of evildoers. Don't fret because of the it smokers says, of marijuana. Do don't fret. It says, do not for the wicked. The fact that that is with the same, okay, good. This is good. The Bible says with the same judgment you use, it will be judged back to you. That's the next verse. I'm under this judgment. I'm okay. I'm okay with marijuana being illegal. I'm okay with, with pornography being abominable. I'm okay with masturbation being a bad thing. I'm okay with alcoholism being bad. I'm under that judgment. The Bible says so, and I agree with it. I know. I used to live that way. The drugs and the alcohol doesn't matter. On the day of judgment, it's all coming down. God's going to bring it down to the ground. He says, get to lay it low. Are you going to stand before God that he was holy, he was perfect, and say, oh, you know, uh, the Constitution says that I can do this? No. Do not judge due to the fact that it's God's job. So if I want you gotta, to you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you got the Bible that's gonna judge you. That's who's gonna judge you on the day of judgment. The Bible, that's what Jesus said. You ain't scream no, you can at me. back I'm up. Right here. You can back up. I'm right here. You ain't gotta okay. scream at me. I'm not screaming, man. You wanna keep screaming? You got I demons. Can scream, you see the demons in your life, man. Yeah. Turn to Jesus. Yeah. Jesus said that I didn't come to exactly. condemn the world, came to save the world. Fuck, but the word will yeah, condemn you on the day of judgment. Oh, you're gonna have to. You're gonna stand and give an account. Jesus said, He who doesn't believe in me. You know, it's not condemned, but you're condemned already. That's the condemnation. You got demons in your life. I'm not afraid of you, man. I'll beat the fucking shit. You know who, you know who guards me, man? You gotta watch out. I got I got Bro, angels. I, the shit out of you I got angels. Get my foot angels. up your ass. Oh, you're just you're just angry. But man, I understand. I know what it's like to be to be uh, upset. And, you know, to have a it's a burning within you. The conviction. You have to repent. That's how you get rid of all those 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 attitudes. You turn to Jesus Christ, and you honor Him. He is Lord. He is King. He is perfect. God is is is, is awesome. He is awesome. He is He is enthroned in the praises of Israel. You know the Bible says it says, "Trust in Him at all times, you peoples. Pour out your heart before Him." 
Allah says, delight yourself. Delight yourself also in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way unto Him. Trust also in Him and He will bring it to pass. He'll bring forth your righteousness like the light and your justice like the noonday. It's what Psalms 37 says. You know, it happened to me. It was a miracle. I, I trusted in God. You know, I, 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 uh, I waited on Him. And you know what happened? My justice came forth like the noonday. Righteousness like the noonday. Like the light. It just, it just, came, it just came out of the earth. It came out of my life. Because you know what? I'm crucified with Christ. And nevertheless, I live. But not me. Christ lives in me. The life I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and died for me. Jesus Christ died for me. I live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. It's good to live for God. It's good to seek the Lord while He may be found. You better seek Him while He may be found. You don't understand, man. You stand before Him and die and take your last breath, and you're found a persecuting me, a man who heard from God. I heard the Bible. I believed it. I, I, I applied it to my life. I've applied the Word of God to my life, and now all the promises are coming true for me. You know, the scripture says, it says, it says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Rest in God and wait patiently for Him. He will exalt you to inherit the land. And when the wicked, you see them, it says they'll be still just, uh, they'll be taken away, it says. For the evildoers will be cut off. You're going to be cut off. That's what the Bible says. But those who wait on the Lord, they will inherit the earth. Praise God. There's hope in the message tonight. You wait on God and it says, yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. Indeed, you will look for his place and you will not find it. Just, just wait on God. Just seek God. Just hold up. All those evil friends that you thought were your friends that were really robbing you blind, taking your money, taking your health, to, you know, they're, they're influencing you to follow the devil. They're not your friends. They hate you. I'm your friend. Better are the wounds of a friend. I warned you, yes. I give you scriptures that hurt. I told you about God's mercy, too. I told you about God's mercy, too. Hey, good judgment. There's mercy. The Bible says, the Bible says, mercy triumphs over judgment. Mercy triumphs over judgment. I'm, I'm all for mercy, man. But when you smoke marijuana, you will be judged, all right? You're already being judged. That's serious, folks. Do you think you're going to get away with it? Don't be deceived. You're not getting away with anything before God. He sees all, knows all. He doesn't want you to go to hell because you, you didn't fear him. you got to fear the Lord. It's a fountain of life. So what, what's that? Back in the day, in the 1800s, 1700, right, the Pope used to drink this wall, this wine uh -huh. called cracked wine. It had cocaine in the wine. Yeah, that's evil, too. They had cocaine in the wine. It's evil, too. The Pope drank it. That's wicked. The Pope drank it. It's drugs. Sorcery, the Bible calls it. Sorcery. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You see this? Demons. Demons, man. The Bible says, make no friendship with an angry man. Do not go with him, lest you learn his ways and set a snare for your soul, the proverb says. You don't, you don't see these demons that are just prowling around. The devil, it says, he prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Is he devouring you because you smoke marijuana? Because you dress him appropriately? Because you watch these television shows? What are they doing? I mean, what about these songs, man? I don't even want to hear the lyrics of some of these songs. Somebody was telling me about Rolling Stones, these satanic... Uh, it was actually my brother Phil over here. He was telling me about Rolling Stones having some satanic, you know, name to their album. And people wonder, hey, why is God so upset with me listening to worldly music? Well, look at Ozzy Osbourne who bites off the, bed of, the head of a bat and all this ungodly stuff. Look at Miley Cyrus who makes out with women. Come on, man. Have we lost our sense? Have you lost your sense of direction? Have you lost your bearings and the spirit, the fame, where it shows you that there's something wrong? You're in, you're, it comes from God. God is trying to show you. It says that God's going to break their arms. God, you know, it's funny. People look at God and they talk about how loving it is, but you know, God is a man of war, it says. God is a man of war. He's going to kill you if you don't repent. Don't touch my equipment. I got you on video. Look, the Bible says, the Bible says, it says, the Lord knows that the Lord knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, it says. It says, in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. But it says, the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord. It says, like the splendor of the meadows, they will vanish. Into smoke, they will vanish away. You see, just like that vapor you're smoking. Just like that vapor you're smoking, the cigarette. 
It says the wicked will vanish into smoke like the splendor of the meadows. They will vanish away. But folks, the, the upright will inherit the land. You've got to be upright in your heart. The Bible says it says, do good to those who are good, to such as are upright in their hearts. But to such as turn aside to their crooked ways, the Lord's going to lead them away with the workers of iniquity. But peace be upon Israel, the Israel of God. Don't you want peace with God? I come to offer you peace through Jesus Christ and Him alone. You know, the Bible says this in Psalms 20. It says, May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May He send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. Oh, may He remember all your offerings and accept your burnt offerings. Oh, may He give you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation. And in the name of our God, we'll lift up our banner. See that banner? That comes from Psalms. Psalms chapter. You heard it. You see, you're listening. There's some people out here who can hear. It's not all vain, folks. It's not vain what I'm doing here. It's serious, folks. You know, you know, so, so it says, it goes on to say in the psalm, don't stop the preaching, man. These people are listening. People are listening to the Bible. The Bible says, surely I know that the Lord saves his anointed. With the saving strength of his right arm, it says, he will answer out of his holy hill of heaven. God's going to answer by fire. He's going to come and he's going to show you the reality. He's showing you right now that without Jesus Christ, what's your, what's, your, what's your foundation? The Bible says there's no other foundation except that which can be laid. It's Jesus Christ and him crucified, folks. When you follow the cross, the way of Jesus Christ, the Bible says, whoever is united with him in his death, shall be united with him in his resurrection. The resurrection power of God. It says, knowing that if our old man is crucified with Christ, that the body of sin is done away with. That we should no longer serve sin. Why are you serving sin? Don't nod your head. You know you're smoking a cigarette, not in your head. You need help. Not ready, man. Take out the ring, the nose rings. Be a new creation. Seek God. It's a, it's a, that's, that's bad. What's the problem with this? That's bad, man. What's the problem with this? You should take it off. Here, I'll take it off. Swing. Take it off. Swing. Swing. I took it off. Fuck, boy. What's wrong with you, man? Swing it. Uh, you want to run this shit right from Cape Coral? Oh, turn. Turn, folks. You see these demons? I don't you know. You know, you, know, you, know you, you tattoo your body and you, and you have rings and stuff. Those are demonic things. Those are demons. Those things bring demons in your life. What's wrong is up? What's wrong? What's wrong is up? Godly. You got to be godly. Be godly. Swing. Oh, man. Swing. Folks, you know, you know, this is what happens. People don't understand the serious nature of their lifestyle. Your lifestyle of sin is an abomination to God. I want you to be blessed by God. A godly man. A godly woman. You live a certain way that's blessed. You follow Jesus Christ. You do, you do, you do what you see God do. That's what you have to do. You gotta you gotta be a follower of God. Okay, Turn, it. folks. Right, your, th your threats are in vain. Your threats are in vain. Turn. God is protecting you and blessing you because you're Amen. speaking up for him. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you know, you know, the Bible says there's more with this than there is with you. Don't you know that's what it says in 2 Second Kings chapter 6. It says there was a servant of the man of God. It says and an army rose against him. And he said, oh, Lord, there's an army against him. What shall we do? And the man of God prayed to the Lord and said, Lord, open his eyes. And the Lord opened his eyes, and he saw a host of angels, it says, in chariots of fire on the mountaintops. For there's more with us than there is with them. You don't understand. I serve God. God has indisposable angels. Jesus said, I could call 12 legions of angels down here, but I have to do my Father's will. I have to stand in the face of the people's hatred. This is serious, folks. I come here because your life is on the line. One lie. You know, Ananias and Sapphira in the book of Acts, they told one lie to the Holy Spirit, and their life was required of them. You you can be called into an account tonight, folks, on the way home tonight. I had a heart failure five years ago. I uh, choked one day, laughing at a guy in the pool on a big swig of beer, laughing in pride and arrogance. Couldn't breathe, couldn't swallow, smoky marijuana, drying my throat out. Next thing you know, I had a heart failure, couldn't breathe, couldn't, couldn't, uh, couldn't swallow. And I tasted something I can't explain to you. The pain and the sorrow, the guilt and the shame. I knew that I was not worthy. I knew that my sin was grave before God. But you know what? God had mercy on me. God had mercy on me. I thank God. I bless God. I'm an offering to God today to you. 
Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But I will wait on the name of the Lord my God. I'm waiting for somebody to repent. I'm waiting. I'm holding out. Who's going to repent? Somebody out of here. I know someone's going to get a hold of the Bible and say, oh, man, I better read this. I better read this. I better look into this. You know, there, there's people out there who, who see the truth. They see the reality. They know. It's like looking into a mirror, these words that I speak to you. Jesus said in John verse 63, 6, uh, verse 63, he said, the, the flesh profits you nothing, but the spirit gives life. The words that I speak to you, they're spirit and they're life. And the word of God never returns void, it says. As the rain comes down from heaven and the snow and then waters the earth, it says it makes it bud and bring forth. It says, so shall my word be. It shall not return to me void. It shall accomplish the purpose for which it is sent forth to accomplish. It shall prosper in the thing for which it is sent. Don't you see? Don't you understand the trees, it says, will break forth into singing. The mountains and the hills will clap their hands. You'll go forth in joy. You'll be let out in peace. Oh, it says, instead of the briar, will come up the myrtle tree. Instead of the thorn, will come up the, the, uh, the cypress tree. It shall be to the Lord for a name. God. He brings it. The Bible says he makes the fruitful field a wilderness, and he makes the desert a fruitful field. There's a, there's a desert in your life, parched in your life. The Bible says, as a deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O oh God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my, have been my food day and night while they continually say to me, where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. I used to go with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God. I went with the multitude with the voice of joy and gladness. Oh, oh, why are you cast down, O oh my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance and my God. Oh, oh, my soul, you are cast down from within me. Therefore, I will remember the Lord from the heights of Hermit, from the hill of Mizar. Deep calls unto deep at the noise of your waterfalls. And all your waves and billows have gone over me, the psalmist said. The waves and billows of your shame, your guilt, your sin, the, the, you're powerless. Yeah, you don't have any friends out here. There's a friend that sticks closer than a brother, the Bible says. His name is Jesus. He's the one who gets you out of hell. He's the one who saves you from your wickedness. He's the one who makes you established in your ways. You're not established in your marijuana. You're not established in your fornication. You're not following Jesus Christ, the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. His name is Yahweh, rides on the clouds. Uh, he has angels around him, the cherub. He hides behind the darkness. It says he sends out his lightning in abundance. It says, oh, the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rides in the heaven of heavens. Oh, let the little hills rejoice on every side, it says. He crowns the year with goodness, and all his paths drip with abundance. Oh, yes. Yes, he settles its furrows. He makes it soft with showers, the Bible says. I'm talking to you about the Almighty, the one who is, and it always was, and who is to come. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 1, verse 17, before, it says he was before all things, and in him all things consist. He is the head of the church, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have preeminence. I'm talking about Jesus. For it says in the next verse, in the next verse it says, It pleased the Father that in him all the fullness should dwell, and by him to reconcile all things to himself by him, whether in heaven, whether on earth, it says, in him, in Jesus Christ, having made peace through the blood of his cross, in you, in you, who were once alienated, in enemies of God through wicked works, now he is reconciled through the body of his flesh through death. That's the cross what Jesus did. He reconciled us back to the Father, he made us so we could enter in boldly before the throne of God and come boldly to the throne of God for grace. You need grace. You need mercy, but you've got to repent. That's what you're missing. You know you want God's favor. You want God to look upon you and make you shine, make you full of his glory, make you full of his purpose. You have power when you follow God. You know, I, you don't understand the things I've seen. God delivered me from, a, from the hands of an angry man with a machete six months ago, ready to take my life. God had made me escape from his hands. Man, you don't know what it's like to have power until you face death. Until you, you need something that only God can bring. God saved me. God has protected me. I want you to understand you must be born again. If you're not born again, you're not headed for heaven. You're getting drunk. You're filling your...